So this room in 1968 was part of the radio astronomy and um, where they won, where they discovered pulsars. Um, inside here there was a, a direct link to the computer which was here, the early computers, which was then directly linked to radio telescopes. And that's why Cambridge could see far, far, far deep into the space for the first time. And some of the most important developments were done because of that. And so the, the wire came into my room, went into that little cupboard there. They worked in there and in one of the two of the adjacent rooms. They moved out 1970, early 1970s to the new Cavendish site. And this was top floor was turned over to social anthropology. The rest of the anthropologists stayed in another building for a while and I and I was the first person to come over into this new part of the anthropology department with and so I'd started a project using computers for historical analysis in King's College before and then took over this room in the room opposite and so for another six years we went on with this project and we developed new computing or applied new computing systems to social science data, there was a great shift from a kind of search strategy based on what's known as hierarchical searching, where you had things organized, a high category split into smaller categories, split into smaller categories like this. That was hierarchical searching, and it was also based on a kind of mathematics called Boolean mathematics, where you have overlap. You can ask and or not questions. What we developed, began to develop, were new databases. The first modern database was brought down from an IBM research um, centre to Cambridge by one of the people in my project, implemented here and um, formed the basis of uh, new databases. And then later on, through the next 30 years, we pioneered all sorts of things. We nearly were the first people to uh, create the kind of screens that you now get on computers. We anticipated HTML and HTML and XML. We had markup languages 10 or 15 years before they were commercial. Mm -hmm. The first intranet had a link down in the basement of this building. So much of the computer revolution took place just within a few hundred yards of here and we were part of the edge of it. And so for many years I was, Sarah, my wife, was working in the window seat. I was teaching here. I didn't have a room in King's for six years at one point and so I would do all my undergraduate supervision she would be getting on with her work there. And then year after year I supervised my PhDs, prepared my lectures, everything in here. And we built up our projects here, we had books all around. And so it became a kind of second home because we worked very hard. And we were here from eight o'clock, half past eight in the morning, till six or seven o'clock in the evening, every day for 20 years. So this room is filled with discussions, memories, visits. It was a real working center. And then, only in the last 10 or so years, um, when Sarah started working at our home and I started working in King's more, um, it became less used or used for other kinds of projects as well. So, um, it's deep in memories and now it's being cleared out and will be passed over to my successor.